Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. I am so glad that you tuned in for yet another video on yet another glorious day. So this video, as you can tell from the title, it is an unboxing. I am so honored and so blessed to continue to receive PR and brand ambassador opportunities from different companies. This company named Arbria Creations reached out to me as a black owned skincare line. I'm gonna say it one more time for the people in the back. It is a black owned skincare line and I am so humbled and so thankful to continuously receiving PR opportunities, brand ambassador opportunities from honestly any beauty lifestyle company. But these companies were really, really special to my heart because when I, as an influencer, as a creator, am creating content to share with my followers for their products, I feel like I'm really touching the audience that they too want to touch. And so it's just really special to be able to help in their marketing and really getting their name out. And so without further ado, we're going to do this unboxing. Thank you so much if you are new to the channel for watching and clicking on this video. I really hope you guys stay and subscribe so that I can... <laughs> We elbow it here nowadays because you know quarantine. I want to elbow it to y'all and welcome y'all to the Divine Fam. And thank you to you, those of you who returned to watch another video. So let's just get into the unboxing. So here is the box that everything came in. It is a nice package labeled shipping box. When you first open it, the company brand name pops is right in the middle. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Boom. So the company name is right there in the middle. Um, I love, love, love the color of the brand. I think they stand out. I, um, I love the name, Arbria. I think that is beautiful. Um, in talking to the owner, and that's one thing I really want to say about this brand, is in talking to the owner, she really reached out to me and told me her backstory. And she told me her why. And, you know, it really touched me because I, it gave me more motivation um, to really want to dig deep into the product. She gave me a card as well. It's kind of like a little business card with their phone number, their website, and then their Facebook and Instagram information, which I will leave all in the description box so that you guys can check them out, see what they have, and hear their story as well. And then in my box, I had all of these wonderful, wonderful, yummy, yummy goodies. And please excuse y'all, when I say unboxing, I literally be like, ah, oh my God, because I love beauty, skincare products, hair care, so, like I love, 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 love. It is like Christmas for me when I receive PR. I get so excited to see what these brands are doing, what they're creating, how they're changing lives, and I just get super excited to want to share it with y'all. So let's talk about this unboxing, shall we? First and foremost, the owner puts ice packs, y'all, ice packs. Do you see that? She puts ice packs in your packaging so that your body butter does not melt through shipping, okay? Now that is caring for the customer because you don't see nobody using packaged ice packs. And when I when I got it, my body butter, my whipped body butter was still good. It was still nice and whipped. So what did I receive? Body butter, lemongrass nourishing blend, I received whipped body scrub guava mojito luxurious sugar blend. I received the rejuvenating face serum, a facial cleanser, which is labeled as step one. I received a scooping spoon to scoop out the sugar scrub, the body scrub, as well if you want to use it to scoop out this hibiscus rose face mask, which I am the first ambassador influencer to receive this so if you are watching me and you are a follow you will get a follow-up review on what i think about this product and last but not least is the massage butter bar 
And again, just to clarify, this brand is Body, Hair, and Face. These are the items she sent me. I'm sure if you check out their website, they may have other things that is geared just specifically for the face or specifically for the body. Okay, so let's get into the Whip Body Butter. So the Whip Body Butter that came in my package has organic shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, almond oil. It helps in soothing and protecting your skin, dry flaky skin at that. It also helps to reduce appearances of wrinkles and it helps to soothe and moisturize your skin. It also contains vitamin A and vitamin E. And it has lemongrass in it as well as a scent. Um, and so I just want to point that out because I know that some people are allergic to citrus. And so this is something that you don't want to use if you do have a citrus or lemon allergy or um, intol skin intolerance. And so this was something that the owner said, Ayana, I really think you would like this or you could try it on your daughter. Um, but I do know that the lemongrass will react on my daughter. So unfortunately, I can't use this on my daughter, but so far on myself, it's quite yummy. I have tried this just a few times. I do feel like the whipped is super, super soft. Um, like I said, I cannot try this on Reve, but I have tried this on myself. And you can immediately smell the lemongrass when you open it. Um, but it, I like it. And I can apply it to my shoulders just so you guys can see how that applies as well. Again, it breaks down super fast to its liquid state. Just that little bit, I can kind of do my entire arm, chest, and voila. I also got the Whipped Body Scrub, which is a body scrub. It has organic shea butter and avocado oil in it. It helps to kind of cleanse, moisturize, exfoliate your skin. Um, I have used this so far a few times and it is shower friendly so I can bring this container this packaging into the shower the label has not worn off which is like a plus and it leaves my skin feeling really soft this stuff smells so so good like I don't want to get out of the shower um, when I am putting this on I'm just gonna take a little bit out just so you guys can see it on my hands it is absolutely yummy. Next is the Massage Butter Bar. And let's talk about packaging for this on-the-go butter bar. I love it. I love small things that I can just quickly throw in like a baby bag or not even, not even a baby bag because I don't have babies like that anymore. But I can quickly throw in like my preschooler's backpack. So when we're on the go, I can just choo -choo 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 put this on her hands or her skin. Um, I have used this so far just for myself on my face and I love it. I love the packaging and it twists opens like so and you can kind of push the bar up when you need more. And it kind of goes down too. Love in a little jar. This is something that I definitely would constantly purchase just because one, it doesn't have the lemongrass in it and that way I know I could use it for Reve, but because of its size, I really love how small it is and how I can just have this for on the go because sometimes when we wanna be out and about traveling, visiting family, the big containers, they just, they just are inconvenient. And so I pushed it up a little bit and I'm just gonna kinda rub it. Again, it's melting down into its liquid form, I guess you would call it. I love it so much I'm just putting it everywhere and so far it looks to be lasting very nicely and again I have been putting this on my face over the serum and I just love it my skin is so soft right here and so smooth and shiny I mean look at that glow compared to the dullness there shout out to this natural plant-based vegan facial cleanser Thank you, thank you so much, Arbria Creations, for this facial cleanser. I absolutely love it. It comes in a squirt bottle, so that has been a little bit difficult to navigate because I don't want to get it in my eyes. So if my eyes are closed, I can't really see where I'm squirting. So what I have done personally is I've squirted this onto my facial scrub brush and then I wash my face. I love the size of it. Again, nice and miniature, on the go. A little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back because they didn't hear me again. A little bit goes a long way. So I absolutely love that you get longevity with um, your products. You can definitely tell that. Um, this has um, Castile soap in it, which is a banger. 
Um, this also has aloe vera juice. It has um, jojoba oil, vitamin E, and an essential oil blend. So this has been so far so good. Now, if you are someone who washes your face in the shower, this label is a little bit more fragile. So if you do take this in the shower, just be careful or don't bring it in the shower so that the label is not peeling off. Next is the Rejuvenating Serum. Now this serum, according to the creator and the owner, she said it is highly potent and that it has a lot of essential oils in it and a lot of different active ingredients to really um, get into the pores of your skin so that it really is penetrating those pores well. I love, love. So it looks thin, but once you put it on your face, you can just feel how thick and nourishing it is. All right, y'all. So apparently I am the first to receive their rose face mask, hibiscus rose face mask. So this is just the actual clay mix. It has rose clay, rose powder, and rose hip powder in it. And the instructions tell you to mix it with your preferred liquid. My preferred liquid is apple cider vinegar. Um, but don't do that. <laughs> don't mix apple cider vinegar with this. It could have been just my skin reaction to me cleaning my face and then doing the mask. Maybe I should have done the mask first. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it another try. But I'm going to definitely say just mix it with like a coconut water or a regular water or something with a higher pH of water, like an alkaline water. Um, a little bit goes a long way, but I really like apple cider vinegar and it burned it burned me it, it didn't burn me as in like my face turned red and i got scarred no it was tingling and i wiped it right off because we don't do tingling skin but because this comes as just a clay i would just highly recommend that you know what liquid base to mix it with or maybe you want to break down coconut oil and mix it with coconut oil that would be a good go-to and i can try that for you guys but i definitely would not recommend that apple cider vinegar Bust. So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, whew, what a great unboxing. Thank you so much, Aria Creations, for considering me. I, I, I absolutely mean it. I know they are what we would consider a smaller brand, but that is okay. It is so important to get your name out there, and I am grateful and humble to be able to do that. Okay, everybody, so that is the end of my unboxing of Aria Creations products that they sent me. Thank you again to their owner, CEO, and founder for choosing me to be a part of their brand ambassador program and to be able to help create content to market their brand. I am so thankful for this opportunity and I hope you guys learned something about these products and have an interest in using them as well. If you guys are looking to follow them on Instagram, they are at Arbia Creations. I will leave all of their info in the description box below. Make sure that you check them out and tell them that Ayana sent you or Divinely Ayana sent you. Thank you again to everyone who tuned into this video and don't forget, peace, love, and be divine. <laughs>